Good day, hi, and welcome. Missy! Yeah, me. Yeah. All right, from the dawn of time, men likes to go on adventures. Sometimes it's hunting moose, sometimes doing other things. But when he wants to go on an adventure, first off, he's going to get himself a beer. I don't get very many beers, so I'm going to have a beer today. But sometimes you just need something to get the job done. And that something is... Dun, dun, dun. A zombie apocalypse. Coyote killing. 17 HMR. All right, so guys, here we go. I finally got another rifle. Okay, I know what you're saying. Reg? That would be you saying that to me, not me saying that, because that would be me talking to myself. Well, though technically I am talking to myself on the camera, but that don't count. So I'll take a mulligan on that one. All right, anyway. See, Reg, I thought you were always complaining how broke you are because it's been a tough economy and all the bad stuff going on. And you would be correct on this. Um, I did not pay for this rifle the conventional way. Anybody that follows any of my channels, uh, whether it's my Not Reg Me political channel, which will make you hate me because <laughs> I'm more right wing than not, and I'm not right wing enough to keep everybody happy. So um, the point is, is that I'm a gun guy. I've always been a gun guy. I'm a bolt gun guy at heart. I will always be a bolt gun guy at heart because of the purity of the shot. Uh, yeah, I know there's some fancy verbiage there, but you get what I'm getting at. But anyway, if you followed my, any of my channels for any length of time, you know from time to time a new rifle will just kind of magically pop into my life out of nowhere. And this one is no exception. But boy, is this one a dandy. This one, I, I haven't shot it yet. I just got it last night. And anybody that's followed my channel for a long time, I'll give you one guess of where it came from. Okay, one guess, only one guess. If you know, if you know, you know my stories of when I get these rifles pop up, you, you know, you know where it came from. So see, see how good you guys are. A little trivia. Where do you think this rifle came from? All right. Okay. So, uh, put your answers down below, and uh, now I'll tell you. Okay. So the scope, you've seen this a million times. This has been on just about every rifle I've ever owned. This is my Tasco six to twenty-four power. Paid a hundred bucks for it. Cabela's now wants one hundred and seventy-five for these things. It's got the mill dots in it. We'll get into all that stuff. Uh, not a great scope, but it does do the job. And it's clear enough. It's not great on days like today. It's a little bit on the dark side, but whatever. It does the job. And I had another scope that had the proper mounts. You do need the kind of medium mounts. Not the high, high mounts, but the medium mounts on this. Any higher would be too high. Any lower would be too low. But the cool thing about this is that you got an adjustable cheek rest and everything. So what are you looking at? Wow. Um, this is a savage, obviously, but th this kind of made my day. I didn't even know what it was really called until today. Uh, it's a Model 93 R17, right? So I've got to get out here and I'm going to read you everything. I just want to show you it because you can't see it in here. But anyway, it is a 17 HMR with a, I believe, 22 inch bull barrel. It's not a massive, massive bull barrel, but this rifle is actually quite light. I don't know what it weighs, but it doesn't matter. So you are looking at a Savage Model 93 R17, caliber 17 HMR only. But here's the cool part. Manufactured by Savage Arms. Okay, nothing new there. Uh, quotations, Canada. Uh, basically, I uh, can't read the ink. Yeah, uh, and Lakefield, Ontario, Canada. So Lakefield is still making firearms under the Savage. Imported by Savage Arms in uh westfield uh, i guess miami or uh not miami ma uh usa so it has a stock i believe it's a boyd's stock don't quote me on that uh this front part is uh you can change it out um you can swap it out for this is obviously a target stock and i'll explain the target stock in a second but this rifle is extremely light it's heavy for a light caliber rifle for sure but it, it is very very light that you could actually hunt with it in other words you're looking at my coyote gun um stuff like that so how did i get it well first again i normally don't drink on camera but here we go cheers i'm thirsty and it's friday and I'm celebrating, so sorry to be the bad influence today. Um, okay, so I'm sitting at home. 
all snug that you know uh you know doing my internet research all of a sudden I, the phone rings my dad answers it and he goes rich phone like he normally does and i pick it up and it's like it's my long lost friend bob yeah if you've ever watched any of my shooting range videos you'll know who bob is uh he doesn't live around here anymore but he's still my other fr gun nut friend, him and I have shot at the range a gazillion times. Uh, I, I wish he'd move back to the town here because I, I, I kind of miss him. He's an old guy. He's like in his 70s. He's probably cl getting close to 80 there now. And he has this disease called gunitis where he buys a gun, says he's never going to do it again. And then he buys another one. And uh, it's, it's quite the addiction uh, he has. And he bought this little thing. I don't think he bought it new. He bought it off of somebody else. And whatever. Now, the history with him and I goes back with my little VTR, Remington VTR 597 that I bought, I think back in 2010. I let him try it one day and it gave him the fever and he liked it. He liked it a lot. It's his favorite 22. But he also had a Ruger 1022 50th anniversary that he really liked. Now, here's the deal. It's either I have that rifle or he has this rifle and we traded back and forth a gazillion times. I even traded my Henry Big Boy for that VTR uh, and a bunch of other stuff. And then we've traded back and forth these 222s probably for about probably five or six times now. Well, last night, he started, about a week or so ago or a month ago, he told me about this thing. And I hadn't talked to him since. And then he says, oh, he calls me up one day. He says, yeah, Reg, he says, I'm a range member again. He says, it's been a little while, but he says, I'm a range member again. And I was shooting this thing and I really like it. And then last night when he calls me, how about this for a deal? That's how the conversation starts. So, you still got that little 22? I'm like, yeah, how about this for a deal? And he starts listing everything on it. The Boyd stock, the adjustable cheek rest, the adjustable length of pull. It could be a little bit longer for me. I mean, this would fit a kid. But it, 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 it will fit a grown man as a hunting rifle. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of linkage. But you can make it, you know, you can compact this thing, which is really cool. And obviously, when you put it away, you just collapse the stock through these buttons. I'll get into that when I get to the range and stuff like that. And I'll do more video. Um, I don't even know how many rounds would be through this thing. Not very many. Not a mark on it. And then, of course, you just got this outrageously cool freaking stock. It is a laminated stock, as you can see. Over the camera, pick that up. So he says, how about this? Three magazines, a Codwell sled, no scope. Uh, that was my scope. Uh, the rifle, 650 rounds. Minus, I think, uh, five rounds or whatever. <laughs> whatever it is. Uh, straight exchange. So that meant four little magazines. I threw in 200 rounds of 22. I can't remember what I threw in. And two 30 round mags uh, and a swiveling bipod for the uh, straining, you know, again, barter and trade, right? And that's what we did last night. So he was up here. It goes, I'll see you in an hour. And now I got one of these. It's got the Aki trigger. Uh, I will go through this thing. It is a little, it, it's new stiff. It's not like, unrefined stuff but this isn't a target grade rifle to the point of like ultimate refinement this is consumer grade target grade rifle so means you got everything you need uh you can make it work it's smooth enough uh it'll take a little while before that action is buttery smooth uh but it works uh the magazines uh this is a 10 rounder he says there might be some issues with the five rounder from time to time i'll find out you know in the range but i'm more interested in the 10 rounders and how whatever so this this is pretty sweet. Now, what does it give me? Well, well, this I don't know how long I will own this rifle because I was looking at a 223 today that the guy was looking for a 17 HMR and I'm looking for a 223. Now, mind you, I don't know if we can do a straight exchange because that rifle might be a way worth more than what this one is. But this is not a cheap rifle. This is, you know, on the upper end of the 17 HMR you know, these are the ones that you pay a couple of hundred bucks more for because of all the, the cool stuff on it. Uh, this is like the zombie slayer stock or something that they call it. But what does it give you? Right now, I've got it sitting on a Caldwell sled. But if you get other attachments, you could get a target grade bipod like a BR rifle and away you go. But the thing is, is that this is light enough to hunt with and you've got 
two uh, buttons, uh, strap uh, swivels here. Okay, I don't think they swivel swivel, but uh, you get the idea. So I can put a bipod there or there or a strap there or there, whatever, and I got it back here. So it is a rifle you can take to the bush. It's not a dedicated solely target rifle. How much does it weigh? Uh, I don't even think that's eight pounds. It might be, but it's very well balanced. Uh, it's definitely not barrel heavy. The barrel in itself is technically a bull barrel. I would say that's like a three quarter bull barrel. That is definitely not my Savage Model 10T, which I could probably bring it out just for the, the awesome factor. I am a bolt gun guy at heart because I, semi autos are cool. But it's like the difference between semi-autos are like looking at a really hot football cheerleader chick or a stripper, right? You love it. It's great. But a bolt gun is like looking at that gorgeous woman coming down, like spiraling staircase in that silk red dress or little black dress all decked out, you know, like out of ball. That The classiness is just... Uh, like this thing, I, I like I, I I made the agreement sight unseen because I with Bob I trust him anyway. I was like, okay, yeah, well he'll trade it. If I don't like it, he'll trade back in a couple of months anyway. Um, unless I trade this thing out for a two two three. But we're gonna see how it performs first. I'm looking at this thing and thinking, I am gonna rack a shit ton of kills on this thing. I don't know what they're gonna be, coyotes, wolves, whatever. I'm not gonna go too far and outrageous with the wolves, but with this 